Well, here it is. Showdown of the century. This this is your moment, guys. I, I, I can't, I don't want to put pressure on you, but it doesn't get any bigger than this. So we've been doing a lot of these union videos lately, where two countries come together, but this is the one I'm most excited for because France and Italy form something I like to call the Commonwealth of Disappointment. Because when you think about it, what nations were bigger embarrassments to their two corresponding factions than these ones right here? I mean, first of all, obviously we've got the French with their whole surrendering thing. Yeah, probably not the best strategy. But as of recently, I feel like it's Benito that gets a little bit more shit. I mean, going to war with Greece and then failing, only to have Daddy Adolf come down and help him out, probably wasn't the best look. Then, you know, kind of losing the, the whole African front, that, that was... That was kind of a big deal. And then after all that, they of course switch sides. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly who did worse, but that's not what this video is about. This is about redemption for two amazing places. Hopefully they can rule the world together. I just hope they don't join the allies. That wouldn't be very fair. I'm kind of hoping they go communist. As always, I love checking out the stats of these new nations. So uh, yeah, the Franco-Italian Republic is actually looking great. Let's hope they can make up for their previous blunders. Well, I hope you guys like a little bit of incest because Hungary annex Austria and the Habsburgs are back. Roll Tide. Ooh, and now this is gonna be a big problem for our French-Italian Republic. Franco will eventually join the Axis. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. How adorable. Hirohito chan you've ditched fascism and gone back towards non-aligned. I don't really know what this is gonna mean, though. Oh, well, I guess that's what this is gonna mean. Yeah, I'm okay with this. And once again, Canada is ditching democracy. I feel like that's happening a lot in these videos, which I'm totally okay with. Ooh, Mao just took five states. The other China only took two. Communism is on the rise. Once again, this government of national defense, this is always popping up now. I don't really like it. I'd like to see more conflict over here, but at least Japan's going after Qing China. So let's see how that goes. So here we go. Our little commonwealth of disappointment is starting to go communist. I'm hoping they won't attack Franco and Germany, at least this quickly. The Aussies are another British colony that I think are going fascist. But real quick, while we're talking about this continent, can I just say, and I don't even know why I know this, why is there only 24 million people living here? I don't know why I expected so much more. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know how random this is, I just have to add one more thing. I kid you fucking not, the country ahead of Australia, in terms of population, is North Korea. All right, that, that's the final straw. They don't even have food there, guys. You gotta, you gotta get it together. Start mating. Come on, Remy. Damn, this is starting to look like the best Austria-Hungary we've ever seen. They took some lands from Romania, as well as they've puppeted the Kingdom of Bohemia. And there we go. Our Franco-Italian Republic has made the switch, as well as I just noticed Yugoslavia went communist. Oh, they're joining the common turn. Damn it. I was kind of hoping they would just form their own faction. Now Romania is declaring war on Austria-Hungary. All right, that was a terrible move. Wait, no, it's not as bad as I'm thinking because Romania is actually a puppet to Bulgaria. Still, I I'm pretty sure this is not gonna go very well. Also, what the hell is up with this? 1939 and world tensions only at 9%? I mean, part of that has to do with nothing's happening in China, but still. And there's our baby. Okay, perfect. He's looking more evil than ever. I found out you guys also don't have much population. Maybe you can just throw some mooses in your internment camps. And all of a sudden, a bunch of people just join the allies. I out of nowhere, I didn't even get these notifications. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that might be why. What are the fucking chances? Seriously, I did not do this, and we've never seen this pop up before. It's so weird because we just did that Soviet German Union video. I am still using that pure random AI focus mod. I don't know if that has something to do with it. I'm also using another mod called Instant Country Unions, which is fantastic, by the way. Please go support it. But yeah, no, I don't think this has anything to do with it. Ah, oh, this is just so crazy. Well, unlike before, we will get to see Poland get smashed because uh, that didn't happen last time. And you know what? I'm totally okay with this. Please, US, help the allies. They're gonna need ya. But this is perfect because the Franco-Italian Republic is gonna do their own faction thing, which means they can call on Yugoslavia that's, yeah, that's a good start. Austria-Hungary just took out Romania. That's, that's good too. Maybe they can help out in the war against Germany and the Soviet Union. This is a pretty strange looking Europe. And obviously the borders will not stay like this. Just, just ignore Poland. They're not going to be there. So the war for Poland has begun. And it looks like the Polish AI has already decided just to fall back. Yeah, I don't, I don't even blame them. But here's the fantastic news. They were guaranteed by both Sweden, which 
who cares about, let's be real, but also the UK. So that's gonna pull in all of the allies. So here it goes. This is the start of World War II. Man, you know shit got serious because even the Swiss are involved. And Australia is gonna be kind of a thorn in the Allies' side, supporting an Indonesian uprising. That'll be fun. Oh, and while Canada is sending volunteers to Germany. <laughs> Oh, this is so good. Please, France and Italy, do something. This is your moment, man. You could, you can kind of save the world. I, I don't know if it's gonna be enough, actually, but the Allies are definitely gonna need you. Where the hell is the U.S.? The Americans gotta get over here. Oh, they're they're kind of here still. They're about to lose Swamp Germany. Come on, Otto. Austria, Hungary just joined the Berlin Moscow alliance. That is very bad. Damn, countries are just capitulating left and right. Benelux is gone. Sweden is gone. Norway doesn't have much longer left. Hey, the Swiss are still around. That is honestly incredible. Well, here it is, showdown of the century. This this is your moment, guys. I, I, I can't, I don't wanna put pressure on you, but it doesn't get any bigger than this. I mean, what are we looking at? How's it looking over here? 190 factories, okay, 269 divisions. Not bad, I'm sure they've got a pretty good navy, although that doesn't matter at all. They definitely need more manpower. It also kind of sucks that Belgium is gone because you can't really use your forts down here. It doesn't really matter though. I mean, the Swiss are gone as well, and uh, Italy is also gonna have a, a border with the enemy. Hey, you know what? This is fine. I, I did want you to create your own faction, but at this point, you know, what are you gonna do? Anyways, uh, I guess the war's already begun. Yep, there it is. Honestly, I'm like invested here. I really wanna see France and Italy do well, but <laughs> I don't know, man, because I, I just watched as Germany just stacked this entire border with uh, a whole shit ton of divisions. Tito, come on, man, I'm gonna need you to get your ass in here. Please, don't don't leave him hanging. Even though you'll likely die too, that would not be a fun border with Austria-Hungary. Still, come on, man. Okay, I, I'm i shocked. We're on five speed. Things are fine. I actually thought they were gonna get obliterated. Oh, man, Italy. Italy is not doing well. Okay, please, please stop. I don't even know what I'm looking at right here. This is... This is insane. All right, now where are the British? And still, where are the Americans? I know it's only 1941. I don't know if they've had time to build up. We're just kind of lucky that Hirohito went not aligned. This would have been even worse if, if he joined that faction as well. Yeah, it seems like the Italian part of this union is probably gonna fall first. Um, at least the allies are starting to get over here. Why would you do this? Why, why would you do this to us? You know what? If the Allies lose, we're just blaming the UK. That That's that's what's gonna happen. I mean, it's not like Yugoslavia was gonna help that much, but still, it, it still sucks. Yep, well, there goes Italy. Um, I, I think it's fine, honestly. Just just let it fall. Okay, well, they're, they're holding over here, at least for now. They're slowly gonna lose territory, but that's fine. What they need to hope for is that Japan actually does something against the Soviets, even though that's probably unlikely. Hirohito, oh, he's gonna go after Qing China. I guess that's something. Oh man, I think it just happened. Australia joined the Berlin-Moscow Axis because Australia declared war on Japan. Perfect, okay, that's a small start. If the Soviets start to bring more of their divisions over towards the east, at least that'll you know ease some of the craziness in France. And at this point, I'm hoping the Canadians join the Axis because I wanna see the US take them out. That would uh, that'd be beneficial for the Allies as a whole. You guys kinda know, I'm kind of an idiot. Um, but nonetheless, take this with a grain of salt, it seems like things are going all right. I think this faction will be able to defend themselves for quite some time right now. This has obviously been a pretty insane game, and it's only 1941. I don't know who's gonna win. I think it's kind of a coin toss. I know that it definitely helps that the Soviets have all these divisions out here in the East. They're definitely worried about China, and Japan is, you know, at least causing some sort of a distraction. The Franco-Italians have even managed to send some divisions over here. Oh, look at that, they're pushing. Oh yeah, and Mexico's in a civil war. They formed their own faction. It's it's all good. It doesn't matter if if things get too crazy down here The US is gonna stomp them out. So there is no movement over here This front is a stalemate and as the days go by it really makes me think I think the Allies might have this Well, as I said FDR is gonna have to stomp out Canada and Mexico cuz uh, shit just got too real and it all happened because of Central America El Salvador man always messing stuff up. I was kind of worried the US wouldn't have enough divisions over here They've been sending their military all around the world, but I think it's gonna be fine. And there's another civil war, an Austro-Hungarian civil war. I, I don't see how this is happening. Oh, and also North America is now back to normal. That's fantastic. Holy shit. All right, one thing that I probably should have realized is the allies have pure dominance in the sea. I mean, you're talking about the UK, the US, Japan, Italy, even to an extent. Yep, they're, uh, 
they're gonna be pretty okay out here. Okay, this was a really shitty peace deal to finally get to. That obviously took forever, but I'm just kind of surprised there wasn't a lot more states taken. Was there things puppeted? Wow, okay, Austria-Hungary just got 19 states out of nowhere. Well, they're the allies, so a lot of democracies were put into power. And I'm assuming the Franco-Italian Republic got some puppets. Okay, that is kind of an underwhelming peace deal. I kind of expected a lot more than this, but... It's fine, I guess. This is the coolest shit though. Pretty random. I am using the Formable Nations mod, so that explains why this randomly popped up. Stalin, for some reason, remains in power. That is kind of an odd one. Um, as well as Germany. Okay, Germany went communist. Interesting. Nonetheless, it all doesn't matter. I, I think this was the perfect redemption for France and Italy. No longer are they the embarrassment of the Allies or the Axis, in this case it was the Allies. This gives me a lot of hope, because I too am also just a massive disappointment. Maybe I can redeem myself one day. Nah, I'm just kidding, probably not. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters, Franco is Thick, Leather Daddy Lennon, Matthew Rembish, Free Cruise, Swiss Argo, Jake Paul's My Daddy, Sean Spillman, Jen's Love Disc, Matthew King, Ruse for Occasion, Matthew E, Jungkook's Bay, Elijah Senpai, Wyone, and Elfie C.